Hey guys, it's Epoch back once again with Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1. We just finished Episode 2 and now we're starting Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. And let's just get things started, shall we? So, I'm gonna make the wild guess that a train is gonna be involved based off that uh, chapter screen. But if you guys didn't see what happened in Episode 2, here's a nifty little uh, refresher for you. Once it loads. Hope everyone's been doing well. I've been doing well too. Glad to be able to play this game again and I'm glad you're here to experience the journey with me. <laughs> How do you guys feel about this game so far? So far I really like it. Uh, episode 2 was definitely a lot heavier than episode 1 and hoping it just keeps building on keeps building on that momentum. Previously on The Walking Dead. I like how these trailers always reflect my, my decisions. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are. And I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. So yeah, me and Kenny aren't getting along. Which is a shame, because I mean, I definitely see, I think Kenny's sort of like more of the pragmatist here. So I definitely see his side, but at the same time, man, just crushing a dude's head in front of his daughter, I, I know that, I know that he had legitimate reasons. <laughs> it was kind of funny though. I feel like the cartoon aesthetic kind of makes the violence a little Looney Tune-ish sometimes. You know, like, I just imagine like an anvil falling with a coyote, both more blood and guts. Anyways, very excited. I'm loving this game so far and I like it way more than TV, TV series overall. I mean, I like the TV series, at least for the first couple seasons. I feel like this sort of... I feel like the way this this game is formatted, it means that there's not there's no there's not a lot of fat. It's all kind of like just meat and gristle, which I like a lot compared to say a TV show, which looks like this is our lucky day. Seems like it's wandering off to nowhere sometimes. And of course, I've been playing uh, Lee as a silent and strong type, so nothing for me. Well, let's just get to it then. Written by Sean Vanneman. I think he wrote the first episode too, so the guy seems to know what he's doing. Harrison G. Pink. You know that guy got picked on his whole life for that name. But yeah, Telltale's got quite the quite the uh the good team here. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? <laughs> when it comes to the getting the hell out of making. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Again, he'll get nothing from me. <laughs> Fine. I'll take that as a yes, then. I swear, Lee, I'd be on my boat this goddamn minute if I didn't think splitting up was suicide. Back to uh, Everett's prescriptions. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. What do you, you guys okay? think? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. It's a time to... Not sure how many more trips we've got in us. Get out of Dodge, or Macon. More specifically. Huh. 
Hmm. Yeah, the barrel is very interesting. Hmm. Looks like it still works. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You slaughtered her dad. Eh, just quietly. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. It's completely flat. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I can't really blame him for it. But Lee's, uh, again, Lee's not talking. I guess so. I guess when you're silent, you'll just assume yes. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. You know, don't worry about it. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit! Son of a bitch! You all right? I'm sorry. I just fell <laughs> backwards into a into a jeep. Besides that, I'm for dandy. No! 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 Oh man! Help me! Somebody help me! She should come over here. Oh God! She should come over here. What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus! I don't think so. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all too, buying us time. Can't. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. That was for the best. Oh, well, maybe not the best. Yeah, what well, you guys have done. Now look what you've done. Let's move. Yep, Kenny's just getting madder and madder at me. Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Imprecise control. Fuck! 
Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Can I get that? Okay, guess I can't. Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! Alright, that's six, 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 six. Alright, Kenny, any time. Is he contemplating leaving me to die? It's worse than Larry. Actually, better than Larry, but not much better. Fucking get out! Uh, let's do this again. X and square. Everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? How do you pronounce that? Is it Travelier? Travelier? So the bandits have been coming in still. Ben's still alive. Watching over his RV. The Walking Dead definitely has things about uh, RVs. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? <laughs> <laughs> Lee must have thumped his head out there or something. We got lots. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? You guys couldn't try to save her? You shot her instead. What's done is done. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies! That's right. 
stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Seems like I'm pretty much her only friend now. Which I'm guessing means that I don't know how long. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that means Lily won't be hanging around too All long. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Yeah. Rough day, I guess. Yeah, but I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and... I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Ah, uh, about the guns. You gotta trust everyone here. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. That was a good metal grounds. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Alright, let's see here. Talk to them. Let's talk to good old Doug. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. What do you think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety's always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever's out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. I'll catch you later, Doug. Oh, there I am. I feel like I transported for a sec. Nothing here. Nothing here. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Oh, 
I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... He's got a little bit of that. Think about Lily. She's wispy mustache coming in. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Which means she probably will snap. You feel useful to the group? What? Useful? Yeah, how's your spirit? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. I wonder where Clementine is. And where Duck is. See, oh, there she is. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like, sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. <laughs> That's a really abrupt facial change. Don't like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Alright, time to uh It's Lily's room. Thank you. Thank you, Leaf, for pointing out the obvious. It's time to talk to Lily. Hopefully she doesn't murder anyone. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I'm sorry. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Are you safe for who? So you don't believe me? Look. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. I'm going to assume you'll help then. I'd appreciate it if you could do it without making me look crazy to the others. All right. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> Find your Robin. If you tell him you're in trouble, you can help. Don't tell him. I'm just giving him the stare. <laughs> yeah, back up. I will live in the shadows. Batman doesn't need to talk. Doug feels like he's from a different universe, doesn't he? He feels like he just doesn't feel like he should be. <laughs> I have to investigate. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No, 
Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Oh, that's just adorable. I can't go up the stairs. Yeah, Ducks feels like he should be from a 50s sitcom. I just... He just doesn't really belong here. Do you guys know anything about this broken I guess he's there for comic relief. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Alright, ice machine it is. There's some broken glass on the ground there. <laughs> really? The broken glass? I never knew. X marks the spot. There's something drawn there. My god. Chalk. In the shape of an X. Mm. Duck. A clue! Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Chalk X. Uh, definitely weird. I still say this is a. I still want me to talk to Clem. I still say this is better than um. Detect the detective mode in the Arkham Asylum games, or the Arkham games. I just hate having to always look at things with uh, that detective mode on, like infrared vision or whatever. It's annoying. You have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I like the Pink I Panther pass. type of music. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues yeah, and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. All right, I'm over here. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I am awesome. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time, seriously. Okay. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. I guess I should go out then. Walk over there. I guess I have to walk over here, right? Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. <clears throat> oh, well. Someone's been stealing our lunch. Son of a bitch. Hmm. 
Don't worry, Lily. You come up with anything, have you? You're only a little bit crazy. This. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. Well, you die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we I need? I wouldn't be that drastic. What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, We've got our people out there! Out we ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> oh, boy. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boots in these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. You people think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> oh, dang. You did actually see him die. Okay, I guess the silent approach isn't gonna work this time. Yo, We've got our people out there. Out uh, let's try this again. Around. What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit. They're gonna start kicking in doors. Oh, man, I gotta... What the hell are you... Stall him. Can I skip? What? Just keep them talking. I can't skip this. <sighs> I hate that. Alright, let's let's do it right this time. Enough of this bullshit! Drew! Stop putting your boots in these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Huh. I like his shirt. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Alright. <gasps> oh, dang. Oh. Uh, I... <laughs> hey, I like a shirt. Alright, I guess next time I just shoot him. I don't know, who do I shoot? Does it make a difference? <gasps> who do I kill, guys? I'm not a racist. Alright. Ball guy was the right of me. Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your ass around behind. Alright. 
So I gotta get that guy on the right first. Hang on! Right, let's do this. One more time. He gets munched on. Where is he? He's right behind that van. Get the guy around behind. Right, come out. Get him. Get him. Gotcha! Hurry! Come on! Clint, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Oh man. Uh Just hit it with a hammer a few times, make it work. Shit. Wait a second, did we just leave her behind? Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait. I guess she got Sorry. in. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben, I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Lily, come on. You guys are like my family. Chill out back there. Lee, please. I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. You have evidence? No, not here, but Lee found the meds. We found an entire signaling system. Signaling Shock. system? I know it sounds crazy. It is crazy. Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go! Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him! I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't! Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now, then. Oh, man. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think thinks. you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. No! Ah, this dumb fuck Man. walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Ben, you have no other options here. Leave him alone. I think you both are protesting a bit much. 
Don't you think so, Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? <laughs> well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just... You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. Oh, man. Look at you. <laughs> Wow. Kenny, what's it gonna be? This is horrible. Do we need any more evidence than this? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No! Ben! Lily! This ah, is about trust, ben. and I've never oh, trusted shit. you. Huh. <laughs> Please, let's just get back in That's the army. That's not happening. I can't handle this. Yeah. I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Oh! 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 Drop it. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. Oh. Oh. What are we going to do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Oh, man. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. <laughs> Bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Oh man, she just... Is that true, Lee? Just threw me under that bus. Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. I don't have anything I don't want to hear left. it from either of you. Just get in. Man, man, did we just leave Doug? Did we just leave his body out there? Dude, we just <laughs> we left his body out there. That's so messed up. Oh well, rest in peace, Doug. Man, the guy always got the shorter than the stick. Like, he did so much to help people. He was like the most calm, rational guy there. Gets shot in the back of the head. Lee, a word, please? Oh, man. You okay? Katya needs you for something. Wow. Hold on a second.
to speak to you up here. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? I'm guessing he got bit, right? Oh. What the fuck? Things just keep getting worse. Raid. We know it's shocking. Please try and keep Ben and Clementine calm. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? Oh, yeah. Got a bullet in his face, so... I really don't feel good. is bad right now. Yeah, it is. something up ahead damn it roads blocked now we got to deal with this yeah this is tough what now? Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Hey, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. Alright guys, so... I'm going to stop recording for here, right now, uh, but I'm going to finish up the rest of chapter 3, so I'll have that recording up pretty soon after this one, so make sure to check back. Again, the usual disclaimers or announcements or whatever you call them. I'm Epoch, you know, I'm, uh, my channel is HBC Youth Group, 
I'm a part of a uh, of a community channel called AMG or the Aftermath Gaming with my good friends uh, Baumug and Zaycrest. Um, check that channel out. Uh, me and Baumug have this thing called AMG Game and Tech Talk. We talk about the latest in game and tech news, and we got a lot of big plans for 2014. So we'll be having a lot of new content coming out pretty soon. And uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. But we still got a long ways to go with this game, and things are just starting to. I don't know. I would say things are trying to go up, but it seems like we're just keep going down and down. So I'll see you guys next time real soon. Thanks for watching.